Students, hi, this is Mr. Bob, and in this video I'm going to show you, if you're trying to use a Vernier microphone, how you connect all the pieces and parts together. First of all, you're going to have to use a Lab Pro, and so to power up the Lab Pro, you're going to take the power supply, and you're going to insert one end of the power supply into this spot right here, and you're going to insert the other end into a power source, and you should listen, because within a few seconds you should hear a noise. That's the noise you want to hear. Doo, 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 doo. That tells you that the, uh, the Lab Pro is powered up. And then, to connect the microphone to the Lab Pro, you go to any one of these channels. I usually pick channel one. Click. And then you have to connect the Lab Pro to your computer. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one end, which is kind of like a squarish um, looking thing. It's going to go in here. Uh, you can see here, this sometimes slides over. There's a little cover plate that slides over. You might have to slide the cover plate over. And then the other end is USB, and that will just go wherever your USB is located. Okay, so now you have the microphone set up. Now it's a question of uh, starting up the Logger Pro software and going to the right spot. Students, hi, this is Mr. Bob. And in this video, I just want to quickly show you once you're in Logger Pro, if you're using trying to use the microphone, especially to get the peak frequency of a sound, uh, here is where you want to go. So if you look here, you're in Logger Pro. Uh, click in the upper left corner, you'll see File. Click Open. And notice you'll see all these, all these sort of things. Um, you want to go to, um, basically, if you so you want to go to what's called physics with Bernier. So uh, hold on a second. Let me go back up one here. So you're going to see something like this. It's what you're going to see initially. Um, a bunch of stuff. Uh, you want to go down to where it says physics with Bernier. This one right here. You click open. And you're going to scroll all the way down. And number 34, experiment number 34 is tones, vowels, telephone. Click here, open. And you'll get something like this. And so I don't have a microphone connected now, but if a microphone was connected, like I showed you in the first part of this video, you would see a green collect button here that would be dark green, and you'd be ready to collect. And what you'd want to do, if you don't for some reason see it, go over here to experiment, set up sensors, show all interfaces. And then from here, you can basically pick, notice um, this shows channel one microphone here. If this didn't show channel one microphone, you could basically uh, let me take this off, actually. Can I take this off? Remove sensor, yeah. So notice if I didn't have this, then what I could do is I would come down here, search for microphone, click here, and move it into channel one, okay? So you might have to do that, hopefully not. And then once you have that, what you can do is you can go here to experiment. Uh, you can click uh, data collection. And then here you can decide how long you collect data for. If you're doing the uh, sound waves coming out of a wine glass, a resonating wine glass, you might want to do something like, uh, I don't know, maybe half a second or one second. Maybe one second is what I would do. Okay, that should be plenty. So then what I would do is I would um, get the wine glass going and then hit collect. Um, and what you're going to see here is down here, this graph is what you want to focus on, this one. Okay, because it's going to show you some peaks, and the biggest peak that it shows you, that's the resonant frequency. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks, everyone.